folks, Don Bailey here. Well, we just purchased a brand new Mazak Horizontal Machining Center 1080. And we're going to show you what it's all about to install that machine. It's pretty darn exciting. It's the biggest machine we've ever purchased. And it's like 20 feet by 40 feet and I think 18 feet tall. I think you're really going to find this interesting because we certainly do and it's very exciting for us. We have a time lapse photo here, or video rather, showing you exactly how we did this. Now here we are looking at the original floor before it's touched. And then we had to go in there and cut it and take the, the segments of the floor out bit by bit. And keep in mind that the floor that we had in here was between 8 and 12 inches thick with rebar, but Mazak didn't feel that that was good enough for their machine because to have the proper accuracies, they want to put in a uh, foundation which again is uh, four feet deep, reinforced with re-rod. And uh, we'll get into that, we'll show you that a little bit later. But there it is outside, that's what they removed. That gives you an idea about uh, uh, what the installation of this machine is all about. So, here they are coming in to excavate. And uh, You'll see here as, they, as the workers continue to remove the dirt, which by the way took several truckloads just to get it out of there. And uh, they actually had their equipment in here for several days doing this. So with the time lapse, you get a pretty good idea as to uh, how long it's uh, taken to do. You'll notice it goes dark and light and so forth. So the next step after they get the dirt out is to set the foundation and oh I forgot to tell you too they had to x-ray it first because they wanted to make sure there was nothing underground that they were going to damage well it's a good thing that they did because we had electrical in there and a pipe and some drains so that could have been a real problem for us so now they had to put in uh, some gravel to set it and you'll see that they're putting in uh, foam insulators on the walls and all of that is to minimize the vibration from other equipment in the area so it can isolate the machine to give us the kind of accuracies that we need for our customers. And uh, we're not sure exactly how much concrete we put in there, but it was uh, we think it was in the neighborhood of 50 yards. So you'll see they're putting stakes in, and uh, they're going to put in re-rod, and they're going to weld all that together. And you'll see styrofoam uh, looks like cylinders that they put in there. Why are they putting that in there? Because the machine has to be set accurately and to bolt it down you can't possibly do it in one lump uh, uh, setting so this these styrofoam uh, sacrificial uh, items that are in there will be removed after the cement is poured that gives them the opportunity to put in what they call grout so once the machine is set in place accurately they can then uh, put the studs in the bottom and make sure that the machine is bolted within probably a quarter inch or so all the way around. So here they finished up the cement and uh, they're going to be removing the, uh, the sacrificial foam here shortly. You'll see them doing that there. Vacuuming it up. Now that's the, really the final uh, uh, segment that they need to do to prepare the machine uh, for arrival. So once that's all cleaned up and it'll cure for a few days, I don't remember how many now, but it's going to cure for probably close to a week before they even put any uh, heavy weight on it. So here we are with a truckload, five truckloads, mind you, and these are not little trucks, as you can see, of all this equipment, which is for one machine. And it's uh, quite comprehensive to put together. It weighs about 120,000 pounds, and uh, they'll be here somewhere between three and six weeks putting this machine together sort of like a, like an ikea instruction manual that comes along with the kit so there they are stay tuned because you'll see the second video which is going to show you the actual installation of the machine so again uh, thank you for watching and looking forward to seeing you at the next episode thanks again